Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise because the entrance of your word giveth life and make it the simple wise. In this month of excellence, may we operate in excellence. And may grace for it be upon our life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the church shout the loudest, Amen. amen. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand blocked from the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and was standing before the angel. Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garment from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I will clothe you with rich robes. Somebody this morning, God is going to clothe you with rich loaves. And I said, let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head, and they put the cloth on him, and the angel of the Lord stood by. Let's go to chapter 4, verse 1. Now the angel who talked with me came back and waked me, as a man who is awake out of sleep and he said what do you see I said I'm looking and there is a lamb stand of solid gold with a bow on top of it on the stand seven lamp and the seven pipe on seven lamp two olive trees are by it one at the right of the bow the other at his left so I answered and spoke to the angel who talked to me what are these Verse 5. Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is what the Lord said to Zerubbabel. Can we now stand to read this verse? This is what the Lord said to Obiora, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Verse 7, Who are you, O great mountain, before Obiora? You have become a plain, and he shall bring forth the captain with shout of grace, grace to it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The hand of Obiora has started lay the foundation of this temple his hand shall also finish it then who will know that the lord of hosts has sent me to you for who has despised the days of small things for these seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of obiora then the eye of the lord which come to and fro throughout the whole earth Amen. There will be a celebration over your life that the Lord, the work the Lord started in your life, that they are completed in the name of Jesus. You can be seated. We want to discuss and pray on the topic that says operating in excellence. Operating in excellence. We are in the month of excellence. It is the desire of God for his children to operate in excellence. But we started in verse 3 and we are going to be very fast about it. Zachari in this book of Zechariah, there was a revelation given to Zechariah about Joshua. Unfortunately, Joshua was the high priest. But the Bible said the Satan was standing at his right hand to oppose him. The reason was that he was wearing a filthy garment. 
any man that will operate in excellence must operate in righteousness help me and tell your neighbor you must operate in righteousness that is one of the keys to excellence that is one of the platforms when somebody is not operating in righteousness the devil will be standing to oppose him the devil will be standing to frustrate him the devil will be standing in his right hand and will not allow him to excel if you look at the story of Reuben Reuben is the first son of Jacob he said you are let's just look at it in Genesis 49 in Genesis 49 verse 3 Reuben you are my firstborn my might and the beginning of my strength the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power look at what is in Reuben excellency of dignity excellency of power but the Bible started saying in verse 4 unstable as water you shall not excel because you went up to your father's bed then you defied it he went up to my coach he said in Reuben there is this excellency in him excellency of dignity excellency of power but iniquity was found in him unrighteousness was found in him there are levels God cannot take you when you are not living a righteous life there are levels you cannot go in success in business in life when righteousness is not in, in you 247 and the Bible said he called Reuben and said you are digni excellency in power excellency is this but he said you shall not excel why unrighteousness so if we must operate in excellency righteousness must be the watchword righteousness must be the watchword integrity must be there you have your christian principles guiding you in your business guiding you in your transaction so that the enemy will not have a room to come into your life and the bible said in that same Zachariah there was a command and said take away the filthy garment from him this morning every filthy garment that is upon your life any filthy garment that is covering your business any filthy garment that is covering your destiny any sin reproach the enemy is using as an instrument to hinder you i command it under in the name of jesus let it be removed in the name of jesus and i see your iniquities have been removed and this morning because the lord wants you to operate in excellence the lord will clothe you in rich robes the lord will cover you in his righteousness see if the devil is from this morning as you make peace with god you go on with the righteousness of god when the devil will want to remind you and say you have done this you have done that he said yes you are correct but I'm now carrying the robe and being covered with the garment of righteousness of God. So you have nothing to hinder me again. That garment is coming on you. That garment is coming on you. If you believe it, shout the loudest. Amen. Chapter 4. God 
was showing Zerubbabel again and he showed Zechariah a vision of lampstand with olive tree the lampstand was connected to the olive tree the lampstand was getting his oil his sustenance from the original source the lampstand was connected to direct supply of oil from the olive tree and because God wants no shaking in your life I renew your connection may you receive direct connection for success for excellence for purification in your life and business in the name of Jesus and when he was talking with him he started to give him a word for Zerubbabel and I said there is no Zerubbabel the Lord is talking to this morning that is not you you are that Zerubbabel and he said this is the word of the Lord to you what is your name and he said God is telling you this morning is not by might is not by power but by my spirit may God release that spirit of excellence spirit to operate maybe you have been struggling in life you struggle in business everything about you is struggle you have been struggling God is going to take you from that level of struggling and is going to allow you to excel by his spirit may that grace come upon you you see god needs to move you from the level of praying by struggle yes you need strength you need to think you need to walk but some of the time when we put up all those things we do still things doesn't work out but god is saying zerubbabel matters are settled because we have taught the first one righteousness issue have been established connection to the source of all you the God who is sustaining you is saying, I am directly connected to you. And then the Lord is not saying there is a word for you. You know, by power, not by might, but by my spirit. And may the spirit of the Lord lead you in life and in business and in family in the name of Jesus. And the Lord started addressing mountains. Take note the first one, righteousness. Take note the second one, properly connected. These are the things that you need to operate in excellence. Then thirdly, operating by the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord following you directing you you being clothed in righteousness then God moved ahead and said who are you O great mountain I don't know what is the mountain that is standing before you but it is the will of God that your life will move excellently it is the will of God that your life will operate in excellent level and he said oh great mountain before Zerubbabel you shall become plain what is God saying about that mountain it shall become what What is God saying about that problem that is before you? It say it shall become what? Plain, settled, leveled. It will no longer exist. He said, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, 
says the Lord of hosts. And he moved and said, Who are you, O great mountain? Is it spiritual mountain? Is it financial mountain? Is it mountain in business? There is a word of God for you this morning. God is saying, It shall become leveled, plain. It shall be settled. It will no longer exist. This is what God is saying. And if you believe him, you will see yourself operating in that level. And God is saying, and he, and that is you, shall bring forth the capstone with shout of grace. Grace to it. There is a grace God will be releasing in your life again this morning. Grace, grace, grace. Enough grace to operate in excellence. Enough grace to operate in high level of excellence. May that grace follow you. 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 I say may that grace follow you in the name of Jesus. Verse 9, he said, The hand of Chinelo, who again? Who again? He said, Lay the foundation of this temple. His hand also shall finish it. Please, can you stand up? There are people who start things that they don't know how to finish well. And the Bible said the end of a thing is better than the beginning. But God is saying he is releasing a grace upon your life that when you start a business it will end well. When you start a get involved in a contract it will end well. When you, even in your marriage, it will end well. Nothing about your life that said the hand of Zerubbabel laid this foundation and his hand will finish it. And let me just read this before we start praying on this matter. Verse 10. He said, For who has despised the days of small things? Another translation said, Small beginning. For these seven shall rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. There will be a rejoicing that this small thing, this is your small business, will move from the level where it is to great empires in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to move you from small things, small things. They look small, but God said they, they shall see it. You will be alive to see it metamorphose, to see it grow, to see it increase, to see it become what God wants it to be. Because there is enough grace. There is enough grace. There is a shout of grace upon your life that they will be removing the capstone and said, any capstone, any limitation, they will be removing it and they will be shouting grace. Carry on, carry go. You are not, you cannot be limited. Operate in excellence. God is releasing that grace upon somebody this morning. And that grace will follow you in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands to him, asking for garment of righteousness. Is there any area of your life where iniquity has overshadowed you? As the Lord, as the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus have his way. Let that garment of iniquity be removed. Is there any ill way you have been doing your business? Ask the Lord to purify you, to wash you, to make you clean, to make you stand out in his presence, to give you the grace to carry on in him. He has borne my grief and carried all my sorrow. Ask the Lord to clothe you 
in righteousness. Let him clothe you in rich robes. In rich robes. The garment of righteousness. Any garment of suffering that is upon your life, ask the Lord to remove it. Every garment of struggling in your life without success, ask the Lord to remove it. Let him clothe you with garment of holiness, garment of righteousness, garment of prosperity, garment of favor, garment of grace. Ask the Lord to release that garment. Let him clothe you. Let him clothe you. He said, let them put a clean turban on his head. The Lord is decorating somebody this morning. The Lord is decorating somebody this morning. The Lord is decorating somebody this morning. Yes, the way you are perceived in the spiritual realm is changing. Love Jesus. Any satanic power standing on your right hand? Is there any satanic force blocking your forces? Let them go, go, go. We stand in the authority of the word of God. We rebuke you. You spirit of unrighteousness. You spirit that said they will not excel. Get out of the way. As the Lord let him connect you, open your mouth, talk to him. Ask him to connect you to himself. Ask him to connect you to the real source of excellence. That you want to operate in every spirit of not doing things well. Completing what that has been endeavors. Grace for good finishing. That is the excellence. That from today, your money will not hang on the way. You will not start business and it will end abruptly. You will not be having problem with your customers and those who are giving you goods. The power of God is here. I feel His presence here this morning. Somebody is being endued. New robe is coming on somebody. Strong connection to the source of supply is coming on somebody. I see grace, grace being released on somebody. I see mercy being poured, good finishing. Grace, the plumb line. You started it, it will be well finished. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you.